Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and I'm really pushing the ability of what my computer can handle. If you can't hear it well, guys, let me be silent for a second and see if you can. That's my computer currently rendering a video that's coming out alongside this video. It is currently Saturday. You guys are getting three, let me repeat, three videos today. You're getting this one, a Pokemon one, and then the theory video, which will be out later tonight as soon as I get home from work. So guys... <coughs> Please try to stick with me and get those views back up to 800 where they were as they were steadily growing. I don't get off work until 9.30 and from my knowledge the Vanguard episodes go out around 8. That's about an hour and a half later. By the time I get home, I say 10, I can have the episode out review out by 11. And I know that is about three hours later than the actual episode, but I'm hoping that if we can do this and I can make it a constant thing at by 11 o'clock each and every night on the episode releases then we can continue growing forward like and subscribe if you're new and let's get into the video so guys Xeroth dragon of event pull eventual pull Yultima. you know I don't really know how to read half these names I'm very illiterate guys and dyslexic so I'm sorry so we know nothing about this card's skill yet and this is one of the hardest things I'm doing is trying to predict this card the night that we're probably going to see it. You might actually get four videos because I have a video after planned for after this. <coughs> so, um, why, what is this card's skill? Well, all we know is it has the ultimate stride ability and it's a counter blast too. Let's try to get a good look at it, the art. It's really not the look I was hoping. I was hoping for more. There's no way to zoom in, is there? No. Well then, I guess this is the biggest art that we can get. That is, yeah. So, um, going over the trend of all the other Xeroth dragons that have been released, I I don't know what this card skill could really be. Um, I'm thinking it will not call stuff to rears. I think it's going to. See, I'm having a hard time. So originally, a lot of a lot of people thought, and how was Bushy represented it is, ultimate strides would encap encapsulate encapsulate the abilities from every clan within its nation. United Saints were being the biggest or one of the biggest nations. It is really hard to say what this card's skill is. Drachma retires and binds, <coughs> and discards, which is pretty nice. Magigo restands and calls from drop in hand. And then we have um, the Zoo Nation one, which is Garden of Death, Zo. And that is give 99,999 power to a rear, remove its skill. If it hits, you win the game. We got Dust Skill, which um, deals a flat damage, re reduces your opponent's power and grade to one or increases it to those and then we have stark which as you guys have known if you haven't seen my videos and i keep talking about stark then you know stark is a pretty good card and it dits three attacks off and it doesn't rest after each attack so it's a constant standing unit which completely null and voids mega colony from destroying it so, with that being said, those skills do technically encapsulate most of, if not all, of their clans. So, what will this card do? I want to say it's going to call, but I feel like it's more of a retired card. So, let's take a look at what it could potentially... Let's look at its art details. The first thing that brings me to thinking that it's some form of retire card is its massive sword. So as much as this is hard to say, I feel like every Xeroth Dragon's art sort of relates to its skill in some way or another. Stark doesn't have a lot going on for it. It literally is just, a just it's by itself, which makes sense being it's a single restander. The... Zoo Nation is very green, very bright, and vibrant. And Drachma is full of red, which is retiring. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be similar to Drachma, but I feel like for every card you retire with this, and it's going to it's going to do a sweeping retire, 
so it's going to retire all rear guards. You can heal X amount of damage. I feel like it might be some form of healing card. I feel like because of its art design, it's going to be counter blast 2. When this is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, call cards from damage zone to your rear. Not a lot of card skills go off besides angel feathers when they're called from um, damage zone. So as a replacement, it could also state that um, when card is called from damage zone, treat it as being called from deck, which would help, or treat it as being called from deck, hand, or etc. to fully encapsulate the skill. Um, <clears throat> it could very well restand stuff because... Um, Certain decks are known for their restanding capabilities in Unite Sanctuary, mostly being blasters. Um, I mean, it's a big dragon. It's white. It has angel wings and a massive sword. So, going off of its three most well-known clans, Royal Paladin, Shadow Paladin, and Gold Paladin, it could very well call. But it also could have a very, could very much be... A stacking ability where you look through it could literally be counter blast too. look at the remaining cards in your deck put them put them in order anyway and do not shuffle for the rest of the game it could literally be a card where it forces you to or not forces but allows you to stack your deck and permanently lock it into its position as is and you can and what would that do well that would help a lot of decks that search or call or you know add cards to soul or look at top card decide if you put it top or bottom you know with this in superior call decks that allow you to physically just search the deck for a card you can put it on rear guard and then place your deck back down in its locked position meaning not locked like as in link joker locked but as in you no longer have to shuffle the deck and why is this important well your opponent could have a card that says put this card on top of a deck and then shuffle your opponent's deck but your deck is now affected as in it can no longer be shuffled which is good and i don't know if my obs is actually recording anything or not i hope it is because i've been looking at it and the record time hasn't gone anywhere but there's a lot you can physically do with this card and there's just way too many outcomes so i feel like it's going to do something to the damage zone if not, it's going to do something to stack the deck or going to superior call. I don't see this having a lot to do with soul charging. It might it might be something as just completely resetting the board to it for everyone but you. It might be as simple as forcing your opponent to superior ride a card from soul. Um, I guess multiple attacks are a thing to certain decks within this nation. I mean, blasters attack repetitively. Trust me, even thing save was a thing. Um, I, I just don't know what the true potential of this card could be, but I wanted to talk about it before it was released and give my thoughts. I'm just having a hard time. I see a lot of features from certain clans. I see a lot of royal paladin, like all this blue here and the and the the cloth like material. That's a big hint towards Alt Mile. A lot of the units in Alt Mile use certain types of swords that, in general, normally have a cloth at the end. Not all of them do, but at the same time, his leg design and what he's wearing looks like that. I mean, and then I see, like, Sanctuary Guard armor. Technically, it looks... I mean, to me, this looks like Sanctuary Guard armor. But then you have these giant angelic wings and this massive sword, which I just feel like leaves too little of an opportunity especially for an animator standpoint to not have some form of like sweeping retire skill which yes technically that would work better in drachma skill but we don't know what the xeroth dragon this is the last besides giza this is the last xeroth dragon to ever be released to our knowledge for now we might get more because bush is evil but it's just one of those things that's hard to decide on or to think of being that every time we think of a skill for a Xeroth Dragon, we're in generally wrong. Like, the only two Xeroth Dragons I've ever actually been able to predict right is Drachma's Retire, and even that I didn't get right, and Megio's multi-standing multi skill. 
And even then, I still didn't get that right. So, I'm not looking to shoot for right. I'm looking to shoot for average. If I can, on average, get the um, skill right, then I'm happy with that. I honestly believe that this card's skill will be good. And I really hope that you guys agree with me on this. I, I just want a decent skill from this card. I'm not looking to get my host up like I did with the last Xeroth Dragon because I was severely disappointed with that. But at the same time, I, I'm just curious. In Black Moon, if you're watching this and you're free today, please release your own idea video because that would probably help everyone else out here. But I've been going on too long about this card. Leave your, leave your ideas before the episode's released on what you think this card would be. And guys, please share with your friends and family. It just means so much to me that if we can start building these videos up, I mean, a lot of my videos are getting more than 20 views now, which is a, which was a, is or was above average and still is half the time. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. Please leave a like and subscribe and tell me what you think of this card. I'll see you all later.